using trees. Alashma. All right, we admit it. We're total tree huggers. Oh, the big leafy things. So those are okay too. Uh, we actually meant uh, these guys. Well, in math, trees are a tough place to build a nest. They're not as pretty in the fall, and you can't carve your initials into their trunk. But man, are they useful. Anytime we're looking to derive probabilities from a scenario, a tree can do the trick. We'll show you what we mean with a tree tree. Some tree lovers have thrown a bunch of saplings into a wheelbarrow, and they've asked you to randomly pick one plant. No idea why they've asked you to do it. Uh, you must have a trustworthy face. Anyway, you're told there's an even split between deciduous and coniferous tree saplings. And the root balls are wrapped in an even distribution of red, blue, and green burlap. All right, so there's no link between tree type and burlap wrapping. You might have a deciduous tree wrapped in red, blue, or green, and the same with the coniferous ones. No, not the carnivorous ones. Besides, their bark is worse than their bite. <laughs> all right, we can find all the possible combinations by making a tree. Yeah, one of these things. So we start with our trunk at the top. All right, so our tree is a little uh, inverted. And we have two main branches, deciduous and coniferous, each with a 50-50 chance of being chosen. So we'll label each 0.5. All right, for each type of tree, there are three small branches representing the burlap colors. 33% chance for each of those, so we'll label it 0.33. Alright, now, to get the odds of any one combination being drawn, we simply multiply the first percentage by the second. So chances of drawing a coniferous tree with a blue burlap, hmm, 0.5 times 0.33, that time seems really important, which equals 0.16 or 16%. Oh, what if we don't have an even distribution of tree types? Well, no worries. If we have a 75% deciduous and 25% coniferous distribution, we simply label them 0.75 and 0.25 instead, right here. Now our odds of picking certain combinations will be different, but we can still figure them out by using our tree. Green deciduous, well, just 0.75 times 0.33 right here, and it equals 0.25. Blue coniferous, well, 0.25 here times 0.33 here, and you get 0.083 or 8.3%. What if we want to know the chances of getting a green deciduous or a blue coniferous? Well, easy. We just add the two individual probabilities together. So 0.25 plus 0.083 equals 0.33 or 33%. So by now, you can probably see why we're fighting so hard to uh, save the tree. Peace, man. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmook.com? And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.